Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot and I am here to do um, a reading for Gemini. Gemini, this is your um, monthly love reading. I'm doing it a little bit differently. So I'm going to pull, um, I want to know what's the energy crowning you and your person. So I'm going to do the energy that's crowning, you know, the energy between you and your person. I'm going to see what was going on in the past with you, with you, Gemini, and your person, and then the likely outcome. So, Gemini's love reading for the month of March for Gemini. This is for Gemini. So, Gemini. I just did Capricorn, and um, I was trying to figure out who to do next. And Gemini, yo, your sign popped right in my mind. Gemini, do Gemini. So I'm like, okay, Gemini, it is. Gemini's um, monthly love reading for the month of March. Gemini. Love reading for the month of March. <clears throat> What's the overall energy? Strength. So this is the overall energy between you and your person. Strength. Restraint. So this could be you guys holding on to each other. This could also be you guys, um, like sh hold, um, what, the, what they call it, saving face. Like you guys could be restraining you, restraining yourselves from showing, you know, how y'all really feel, being a little stubborn a little bit against each other. Y'all miss each other, but y'all don't want, you know, y'all don't want to appear weak or vulnerable. What was going on with G Gemini in the past concerning, um, their love life with their person. Chariot. Charging ahead. So in the past, Gemini. Um, in the past, Gemini. Um, you could have Cancer in your chart. The Chariot is the major arcana for Cancer. And this is the major arcana for Leo. In the past, Gemini. You. Was motivated. You wanted this relationship. You got a victory. You you put in the work. You put in the effort. Um, I'm getting from this too. You you know your person. I'm getting from this card. You know your person. You was chariot. Um, unstoppable. You know what make your person mad. You know how to push their buttons. You know what to say. You know how to. You know your person. Chariot. You was chariot. Very victorious in this relationship, in the past. So that was your energy. Also, too, what I just got, too, Chariot, um, Gemini, you were, like, wifey. If you literally wasn't married to your person, you was the girlfriend, everybody knew it, or you was the man, everybody knew it, like, because the Chariot is, like, public, like a public victory. Like, you not a secret, you not the side piece, you, like, um, known. Um, what was going on with Gemini's person in the past? What was going on in the past? Six of Swords, tranquility ahead. Um, your person probably um, had to learn some lessons, forgiving and learning. I don't know, Gemini, if your person had to forgive you for something. This is Six of Swords is forgiving and learning. I don't know if they had to learn a hard lesson or they had to forgive you. I don't know if they felt restricted in some type of way in the relationship. I don't know if you could have been overbearing or possibly even um, probably jealous, Gemini. What was going? What is um, Gemini's uh, likely outcome? In the month of March concerning their love life with their person. 
the sun, illumination and growth. The sun. Um, this is you, Gemini, being happy. This could be you being very happy. Like I said, Gemini, I'm getting you chariot. You know your person. You know your person from the inside out. You know them. So it's like you in control of the relationship to a certain extent. Because you know your person. Um, So, son, like, you probably get what you want. So, in the past, I don't know, your person could have moved the common waters away from you. Maybe. And you, you chariot, and you get your person back. That could be going on. I don't know. Y'all can get married. You probably be married. Or something, or you expose something. What's the likely outcome? But this can just, like, the likely outcome is chariot, happiness. What is the likely outcome for um, Gemini's person for the month of March? The likely outcome. Queen of Wands. Confident and magnetic. Yeah. Gemini, if your person felt some type of way about you in the past, whether they was offended by you or they felt restricted, maybe they felt as though you was too controlling, they're going to come back around and take action towards you. They're going to take action. They come right towards you. Yep. <clears throat> Gemini. So, let me see what's going on. Gemini is love reading for the month of March. I'm going to get some more energy. See if I can get a little bit more detail. What's going on with this chariot energy with Gemini in the past, with their love life and their person? What's going on with this chariot energy? Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. Yeah, Gemini. You um, you got it going on. You The Queen of Pentacles is very down to earth. You could have earth in your chart. Possibly a Taurus or Virgo. Maybe even Capricorn. But um, Queen of Pentacles is very reliable. Stable, practical, down to earth, good with her finances, a good wife, a good mother. The Queen of Pentacles got it going on. So, I'm just, uh, Gemini, you got this person on lock and key, sprung, however you want to say it. But in the past, you was chariot and Queen of Pentacles. And you probably could have kids by this person. If you're not married to them. Yeah. Yeah. So, you was Queen of Pentacles in the past. Give me, um, and probably still is. You still is. Um, give me Six of Swords. What was going on with Gemini's person in the past? What was going on with them? What's the Six of Swords about? Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. Okay. So, your person could have restricted themselves from taking action towards you, Gemini. I don't know, Gemini. They could have been a little jealous of you. Um, This Six of Swords and Queen of Wands. Is Gemini person felt intimidated by Gemini? Yeah, they did. So, the Queen of Wands now. I don't know, Gemini. This person, this action your person want to take towards you. Whether you male or female Gemini, your person could have wanted to propose to you. Maybe. I don't know. Is this Queen of Wands a proposal? A marriage proposal? Yeah. Your person, um, yeah, um, but for whatever reason in the past, Gemini, they restricted themselves from doing it. They moved to common waters. Like, they just, uh, maybe your person, yeah, if the cards told me your person felt, like, intimidated by you. Um, cause you queen of pentacles and chariot, that's unstoppable. Um, Gemini, you probably make more money than them. I mean, you queen of pentacles, your person coming out as the queen of wands, you could have, um, been more successful and productive in life or in your career, more stable, but you, I mean, your person in the, they, if you are a female Gemini watching this, if this is not a same sex relationship, your person, you you had your person in their feminine energy. Yeah, so it's like they, they, um, yeah. 
You had, I, I keep getting Gemini, you had that relationship under lock and key. But in the past, they restricted themselves. That's why they probably felt, um, yeah, intimidated. So they restricted their feminine side. They restricted their so, themselves from this. Because I think, Gemini, you was probably just a little bit too independent for your person. Yeah, so they restricted themselves. They didn't want to show their fem they feminine side. So this this proposal, they put that on hold. Um, why is strength here for the overall energy for Gemini and that person? Okay, nine of cups, three of wands. Yeah, knight of wands. Um, yeah, taking action for, concerning your wish fulfillment. Yo, yeah, this you and your person. Like this right here. This is like. Your person is restricting themselves, Gemini, because they trying to be the man. They know they the man, but they're trying to be the man the best they can. They're trying to hold on to their manhood. And uh, what I'm getting, what I just got, Gemini, you you will do circles. Or you just do circles around them. You chariot. So, yeah. So your person wanted to take action to see their sh to see his ships come in concerning his wish fulfillment and your wish fulfillment. And I believe marriage. If y'all haven't openly talked about it, like I, you know, had plans for it or whatever, your person probably know you want marriage. So it's like he wanted to make a bold move to see his ships come in concerning both of y'all wish fulfillment. Because it's like, like I said, if y'all haven't openly discussed the marriage, your person wants to marry you or he know you want marriage. And he wants to give you that. But it's like he see you chariot and queen of pentacles. He restricting himself. Like, I, uh, uh, she doing too much. She, you know, um, he just feels some type of way. Intimidated. I'm getting, he's intimidated a little bit. And also... Gemini, since your person pulled back, you did too. You did too. Yeah. But you guys are restricting yourself from t making a bold move to see y'all ships come in concerning y'all wish fulfillment. And that's marriage. That's what y'all doing. Um, Give me what's going on with Gemini, um, their likely outcome, the sun. What's going on with the sun? The devil. Um, mm, I don't know, Gemini. Um, there could be some devil energy with you, Gemini. <laughs> um, Because like I said, I got a little bit, Gemini. You probably a little bit overbearing. On top of you probably being more successful than your person, you're overbearing. And I think that's the devil energy. I think that's the devil energy. And, um, I think this could be you humbling yourself. You humbling yourself and you, it's like you're exposing yourself to your person. Like if your person take action towards you and that queen of wands, that's like your person coming back to you and you be like, yeah, I, you know, I'll admit, you know, I was a little bit, you know, aggressive and pushy and bitchy. You know, it's like you're exposing your own devil energy. What's going on with the Queen of Wands for a Gemini's person? The likely outcome from Gemini person being a, in this Queen of Wands energy. What is, tell me more information about this. Princess of Cups. Yeah, um, they want to apologize. Yeah, I think y'all just going to kiss and make y'all up. Y'all probably had a brief separation with the strength energy. Y'all probably had a brief separation or, or I don't know. But I'm getting y'all could have broken up because of y'all differences. But y'all going to come back together because your person is going to take action to apologize. The Prince of, of Cups is an apology. And when your person apologized to you, Gemini, you might just... Um, the devil, the sun and the devil. Is this Gemini um, exposing their own um, devil energy? 
Is this Gemini exposing their own devil energy? The sun and the devil. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you smart, Gemini. Like I said, you queen of pentacles and chariot. You're very smart. Um, humble. Um. Yeah. Because you still, I'm getting, you, you came out as nine wands. So you still willing to work on the relationship. And you know, Gemini, when to humble yourself. And that's what you did. When your person came back and apologized to you, you, you humbled yourself. And you just admitted what you did wrong in the relationship. That's what you did. You, it's, you exposed your own devil energy. I don't know. Your person could be shy. Your person could be shy. Gemini, if this is not a same-sex relationship, like a lesbian relationship, your person is coming out as feminine. I don't know if you dominate the relationship because of your person's, your boyfriend or husband's um, personality. But if this is not a same sex, your person is coming out as feminine energy. So that's probably why you, 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 um, it's like you can't, you dominate it by default because your person is coming out as feminine. A lot of feminine energy. They probably just shy because the princess of cups is shy. And this person, what just came to me, they are Gemini like you. If it's not their sun sign, they have Gemini in their chart. Yeah, so your person could just be like a little bit shy. But they're going to apologize to you, Gemini. And you, you knew Gemini. That's why I said you're a smart woman or man. Um, Whoever you are watching this, because it's like. Like I said, you still want this relationship. So you got good enough sense to humble yourself and to be fair in the relationship. I'm getting... You're trustworthy. That's what I want to say. You're not trying to manipulate this person. You could be a little pushy or a little bitchy, whatever, or territorial. But you mean this person well. You mean this person well. Because you, you want to fight for the relationship and you're defending the relationship. It's like you're protecting the relationship. So your person putting work in and you putting work in. Yeah. <coughs> so what I'm getting the nine of wands, when the nine of wands came out, that was your defense mechanism. So your defense was to protect and your way to protect was to be honest and open to your person. That's what I want to say. Cause you're not trying to take advantage of this person. You probably just have a strong personality, Gemini. And like I said, you could have Taurus or Virgo in your chart. Cause Queen of Pentacles is like Taurus. Less more likely a Taurus than a Virgo or a um, Capricorn. So, if you got Virg a Taurus in your chart and this chariot energy, yeah, you come off a little aggressive, a little pushy. So, let me put an oracle card on y'all energy. And then I'm going to be done. Give me an oracle for the past, what was going on with Gemini, the chariot and the queen of pentacles. Give me an oracle. Muse. Yeah. Muse is something, something you can do with your eyes closed, Gemini. Muse, um... Like I said, Gemini, you're very smart. Um, you could be a producer. You could be a painter, an artist. You queen of pentacles. Um, give me an oracle for Gemini's person, past energy, the six of swords and the queen of wands. Give me an oracle for Gemini's person in the past. Purge. Yeah, they restricted themselves from proposing to you on purpose because they had to purge something and it could have been they probably had to, your person what i'm getting gemini your person is passive aggressive and you are like aggressive and your person is passive aggressive so your person had to purge something about themselves and it could have been a pinch of jealousy it's more intimidation than jealousy like your person is more intimidated by you then jealous of you. Because you mean well. You mean well. Um, Yeah, but your person had to purge. So, 
they probably didn't want to ha hold animosity against your success, Gemini. That's probably why they didn't um, propose to you in the past. Because they had they was purging something. They had to purge. Yeah, they had to do some, a little bit of shadow work among with themselves from within themselves. Um, what was what's going on with the general energy between Gemini and their person? Strength, nine of cups, three of wands, and the knight of wands. Give me an oracle for this energy. The energy that's crowned with Gemini and their person. Barrier. Yeah. That was y'all barrier. Yeah, y'all was trying to say face to each other. Y'all didn't want to, you know. Y'all didn't want to let each other know how y'all really felt. Y'all missed each other. So y'all was looking at each other like this. Like that lion. You guys was restricting yourselves. Yeah. Um, and that was the barrier. That strength energy. And strength too is a card of like a bully. So y'all probably be bullying each other. Like low key bullying each other. <clears throat> um... Yeah, so that was it created a barrier. It created a barrier. So y'all restricting yourselves from how y'all really feel was creating a barrier. So give me an oracle for um Gemini, the sun, the likely outcome for Gemini. The sun in their love life. The sun and the devil. Give me an oracle for this. Signs. Mm-hmm. And I think Gemini, you are waiting for signs. From your person. I'm getting Gemini. You want your person to apologize to you first. Before you. Humble your. Not humble yourself. But it's like. Before you give in. That's what I want to say. You want your person to come to you first. Um, Gemini. I'm getting a little bit that. I'm not going to say that. Give me an energy. An oracle. For Gemini person. For their likely outcome. For the month of March. Queen of Wands and the Princess of Cups. Give me an oracle for Gemini's person energy. Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine. Yeah, your person know, like I said, Gemini. Your person know. Your person knows that you mean well. And they know that you are Divine Feminine. They know. They know. So they're going to take action and apologize to you, um, Gemini. They know you are divine feminine. That's why, and they don't want to lose you because you are an asset. You are not a liability. The cards just told me you are divine feminine. And they're taking action. What I want to say about your person, Gemini, you are worth them letting go of their ego and purging whatever their issue was. Whether they was passive aggressive. Whether they was a little bit too shy. Whatever they needed to purge. Your person know that you are worth them swallowing their pride and their ego. Because you are divine feminine. You are a divine feminine. And your person is going to take action. Whether they feel like a wimp or not. They're going to take action and apologize. Because they know it's not their pride and ego is not worth losing you. They know it's not worth losing you. Yeah, so they're going to take action. And they are now confident and magnetic. They are confident about their position. And they could have had a p epiphany about how to maneuver between both energies. Your masculine and your feminine energy. Your person could have had an epiphany about that. Because they say they had to purge. So they probably felt some type of way. Like I said, Gemini. Because you got them in a feminine energy because of your energy. It's like you made them you made them feel feminine. But it's that's fine. As long as you know how to, you know, switch it up, go back and forth, and you know, you gotta yeah. So your person know you a divine feminine. That's why they are confident in this energy. Because I don't know. Your person could have been a player in the past. And it's like they can't believe that they want to take action to marry you. Like they probably can't even believe it. So it's like now they are confident about their this queen of wands, this burning desire 
to ask you to marry them. They are confident in this this energy. Before they probably wasn't, you know, they probably felt a little, you know, they felt some type of way. They felt intimidated. But now they are confident about this Queen of Wands energy. Yeah. They, yeah. So, Gemini, that's what I have for you. This is your love reading for the month of March. This is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. Thank you, Gemini.